Good morning. We are in the town of Shilas right now. It's a big day because we're going on a hike up the mountain. We're taking our van to some Jeeps and then the Jeeps are gonna drive up the mountain and then we're gonna offload. We have some porters helping us carry stuff up the mountain and we're gonna camp out at base camp on one of the highest mountains in the world. So, pretty exciting stuff. Can't wait. Wow, Pakistan! You're just full of views! I have never seen mountains like this. I've seen a lot of different mountain ranges around the world, but none that were just full of barren rock and so immense and so many of them. Like, our whole drive yesterday was non-stop mountains. These stretch all the way from the Himalayas to China, just they're massive! They're massive mountains! I promise there's a chance it might break. <laughs> but... Anything for the vlog, right? Anything for the vlog. <laughs> you know what, this was the kind of stuff I would do before I was vlogging. If there was a rooftop, I'm gonna try and find out how to get there. And then, and then vlogging just kind of happened and you can capture that. You got as, this. I'm not as brave as, as the uh, rooftop ninja. <laughs> you got it. Boom! Look at that. Landed it. <laughs> Fair point. Quickly went to the shop to get supplies for our hike. I got uh, I got some Gatorade and toilet paper. That's all I need. Okay, it's bare essentials. <laughs> Toilet paper is necessity, especially if you're not used to uh, washing your tush with water. That is an acquired skill. How are you at washing your tush with water? Oh, I'm a pro. Pro? I'm a seasoned butt gun veteran. <laughs> uh, and I'm not too shabby with the plastic one as well, the one that you just toss it with your hand. Impressive. Thanks, man. <laughs> we'll get that tutorial later. This is your initiation into vlogging here. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> a bit of warning, mate. <laughs> wow, that was a little scary. We were unprepared for the car to move. And we're off. Hello. Hello. Hello, feet in the back. I don't know. <laughs> What's in that? Ha, 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 ha.
these jeeps are from the 40s and 50s. They were bought by the Pakistani army okay. um, to use from, from the Americans to use as military vehicles. Then in the 70s, once they were made redundant out of action, they were auctioned and they were all bought by tour operators. Oh wow. So now the terrain we're going on now, our coaster, the CPIC park tour bus, cannot go. It has wow. to be this. It has to be this Jeep. It has to be this Jeep. Very cool. 40s and 50s these were made in. So we're talking Amazing. like 60, 70 years old. Yeah, really. They're looking good. Look, feel that. Pretty bad what car? <laughs> that's made of fucking... What yeah. is that? That's, that's pure steel. <laughs> that's no fucking around, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'd take a bullet. Thick, thick Jeep. Wow, that, that hurt, actually. And you've got the VIP one. Yes. I don't know what that means. But we'll see. Where are we headed right now? Ferry Meadows, which is basically the, the redundant base camp for uh, Nanga Parbat. But it's the most beautiful one and with the best view. So the actual one that, that they use for the base camp now is on the other side of the mountain, because it's an easier climb. But they used to think this one, Ferry Meadows, was the easiest climb, so we used to climb from here. Got but it. it's known as one of the most beautiful spots in the country. Amazing. Yeah. Have you done this before? No, I've not been in this area. And you've lived in Pakistan how long? I lived here 11 years. You know, let's say, what have we driven for? 24 hours of pure driving at least? Yeah. Right? So, you know, you've got to put in the work to come see this shit. Right, right. Um, you guys are probably, like, Pakistani people, I would say not more than, apart from the people who live here, tourist-wise, I wouldn't say more than a couple of million have been here. So, 1% of the population. Yeah. So you guys are well ahead of most of them. Nice. Yeah, amazing. Oh, okay. So this is the most dangerous highway in the world. And I can see why. You only have maybe three meters before this drop off. And that is, that, that's almost 90 degrees. Like, like you're, you're going down. If you veer off the road a tiny little bit, if you have to swerve, if a rock breaks, like this, there's no surviving that. Like, you're tumbling, you're tumbling 500 feet to the bottom, which is right here. Boom. crossing that bridge that would be a little scary because nothing we've done so far has been scary we are so close to the edge it's ridiculous <laughs> one one wrong turn wow one yeah but other than that it's great it's great it's great the things we do for adventure it's starting to make sense why this is one of the most dangerous roads. Watch out for the goats! Watch out for the goats! Just in advance! I'm sorry, Mom! Side of Pakistan, but that was the most intense drive I've ever done. That was like wow, wow. Oh yeah, you lived, man. You we lived, lived we to lived. tell the story. We, yeah, but we gotta get back down more now. Left, yeah. I wouldn't say we've lived yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's still more to come. More to come. Yeah. Brooke, how was that drive? That was one of the best things I've ever done. Like <laughs> so stoked right now. Amazing. Did you love it? Oh, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. It, it was like. Part adventurous, part scary. Part, is, I'm gonna die, but part, yeah. I'm, I'll be happy to die. It was yeah. right, <laughs> like right. a real life roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah, my stomach crazy. feels a like a little queasy. With, from... no, with no safety barriers. <laughs> no one's tried and tested it before. It's a real life roller coaster. You just go and find out. Tell us what's up. I hope you enjoyed the ride, yeah, the most welcome. dangerous road in the world. <laughs> we did. And uh, now we are starting our uh, three hours hike. And it's a steady uphill uh, walk all the way to the ferry meadows the world-renowned, most beautiful place in Pakistan with wonderful views of Nanga Parbat. 
So uh, we are walking to those uh, cabins. In, in 10 minutes, we'll get there where uh, some hot lunch is ready. Woo! And after enjoying yeah. this hot lunch, we will start our hike. Uh, before okay, getting I'll, to the cabins, I'll, I'll, I'll there is... And what will I do when you start your hike? Uh, well, uh, you just can... Uh, Relax. Say bye-bye and yeah. take off. You, take off, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You will be up there uh, like a couple of hours before us. Fantastic. So make sure you ask them to prepare some yeah. tea for us yeah. when we arrive there. I will get your best room. And I, I know you are going to get the best room up there. <laughs> first come, first serve. Z, are you taking a horse? Yeah. You, and then he gets I'm the best room. I'd love he to hike on will... hiking, but I've got sciatica <laughs> while hiking. I see. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. That's what they all say. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's our meal before the hike. We have cauliflower, which is aloo. No, uh -huh. Do they have any Oh, aloo is potato. Ketchup? Yeah. This is aloo. Oh, they do? Yeah. Aloo. These are aloo ketchup. Aloo? Okay. Okay. Chips. Aloo ketchup. Mm. And gobi is cauliflower. Even beyond. Even beyond. Sky, sky is the limit. Sky is the limit. We have started our hike. We're going to the very top. That behind me. It's going to be about three hours. It's, it's Uber, Uber Pakistan. <laughs> I mean, when am I going to ride a horse in the mountains of Pakistan again? Right? You gotta take advantage. We are going to be climbing to 3,000 meters. That is three kilometers above sea level. The other guys in the group are making fun of me, saying I'm a deserter, that uh, I'm not doing the hike, that I'm on the horse. I'm gonna do the hike. I just wanted the experience of riding the horse. I'll just give it another minute while I relax here. I'm fun of that. <laughs> okay, so I got off the horse, walked for about 20 minutes, and I'm back on the horse, feeling very short of breath, and my backpack is like 30 pounds. I'm not used to hiking in altitude. We hike back home in Canada, but it's not at high altitude. It's like around lakes. So, and it doesn't even matter if you're in shape. Um, altitude affects different people. Uh, no matter, no matter what your weight, no matter what your athleticism. I've seen athletes that can't do mountains, and I've seen people who are way overweight just fly up mountains without a problem. Yeah. So we have stopped at the halfway point. People are taking a pee. Horse is taking a pee, and let me just be honest with you guys for a second. I hate climbing mountains. I really dislike it. I've done a lot of mountain climbing in my life. I've, cl <laughs> I've climbed the Himalayas, I've climbed the Tatras, I've climbed the Rocky Mountains, um, and I, I just I don't enjoy it the same way I enjoy hiking through woods at like at ground level. That's my kind of hiking, even some hills, but hiking like super high up I just, I can't do it. I'm like catching my breath and I'm looking down at my feet and I'm exhausted and I can't even take in the sights because my body's just absorbed all my energy. So, I am enjoying this horse. Put it that way. Okay, I am very impressed. With what? That you kept up with the horses. <laughs> You're the only one. No one's, no one's come. It's been 10 minutes. No one's come. I was hooking it. I yeah. was hooking it. <laughs> Covered my sunglasses. The battle wounds. <laughs> battle wounds. Battle wounds. The scars of war. His horse got kicked <laughs> by another horse. <laughs> while I was you on the horse. Yeah, and he jumped you off. You didn't see. I saw. How did you? No, you know you what saw? happened? Oh, she, she saw me in the floor. She said, what happened? I was like, no, I said, are you kicked. okay? The horse got see, kicked. The I horse was a female. And the oh, other horse was a male. Yeah, I didn't get this part, so Brooke. Was, oh, oh, I did get the audio on that one, Brooke, see her. apparently, yep. so the other it. horse was a horse.
got it. I'm off the horse again. On the horse, off the horse. And it's our first sign of snow. Whew. Once you reach a certain altitude, you get snow. Snow-capped mountains. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Woo. Oh, okay, so we've now dismounted the horses and we're on foot. The last little bit of the trek. It's tough. It's very tough. Mountaineers, people who hike mountains, my props to you guys because, geez. It's not easy. Okay, I walked about half the way up. The other half was on the horse. But man, I am sweaty and exhausted. Oh, I can't wait to chug like a liter of water and take off this backpack. Jeez, this thing's heavy. But what a gorgeous place to spend the night. The sacrifice is worth the reward. Right? Rightly said. <laughs> yeah. We're still waiting on a few of the people that that uh, didn't take the horse. So they're, they're behind. I just hope they make it before sundown because it would suck to be climbing at night. I've done that before. It's, it's not fun at all. You made it, bro. You made it. <sighs> You did it! Yeah, made it! Yay. Killer! Woo. These are the cabins we're gonna be spending the night in. But, wow. The word awesome is used too often that moments like this and views like this get described as awesome because they, they create awe, they inspire awe. This is what awesome truly means. How crazy was that Jeep ride? That, it was like, it was like the, one of the most incredible things I've ever done in my life. It was both scary and adventurous and like thrilling and we were so close to the edge, but the views were spectacular. I, I've never done any, my chair is turning. <laughs> I've never done anything like that in my life. And I don't know when I'm gonna have another opportunity to do something like that. These are just some of the incredible experiences that Pakistan has to offer. But not a lot of people know because not many tourists go there. Soon they're going to open up their visa application process so it's going to be a lot easier to apply and to get into Pakistan. But I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next one that's coming out is us coming down the mountain. So we're doing all that stuff in reverse. Then we go to Hunza Valley. Hunza Valley is one of the most beautiful places on earth. It's this like tropical little valley. It's this little paradise. I know a lot of you watching are from Pakistan and the surrounding area. And it's amazing to hear your feedback on the places that we're visiting and get your comments and interaction because this channel is worldwide. It's global. It reaches everyone. So I love that you guys are interacting and we want to interact with you as well. So let me know in the comments where you guys are from, and tell me a little bit about where you guys live. Tell me about your city or your village. 
I would love to know, and we're going to do our best to read and try and answer every single one of your comments. That's it for today's video. Tune in next week where we head down the mountain, more crazy Jeep rides. And that's a wrap.